Hey there, Survivors. Cougar here, back with more Ancestors gameplay, and we're going to start a new game incorporating all the stuff that we've learned in our initial experiences. And if you see here on our game mode selection screen, you can see that after playing through for a while, we've unlocked two new game modes. Survivor mode, where you start out alone and have to build your clan up from scratch, and a custom game that we can set up, we can cater to our own experience, to our own preferences. And that's what we're going to do. We're going to start in the jungle. That's the only biome we've unlocked so far the only region we are going to start in the hidden waterfall oasis where which is where we started last time but we're only going to start with a medium-sized clan this time now this will guarantee that we have some children so we can maximize our neural gains right off the start but it will also give us some room to expand we can go out and find some apes out in the world and add them to our clan and and you know make the clan a little more personal for us so let's get started all right, I've skipped the opening cinematic, uh, but we start out here in our hidden waterfall oasis with uh, some members of a clan. We've got two babies right off the bat. If you look in our clan meter in the lower right-hand corner, two babies, three adults, and four elders. Let's get our babies on our back right off the bat. Yeah, we're going to be doing a lot of stuff that we've already done uh, in our first episodes, but we're going to do it a lot better this time with all the knowledge that we've gained um, from our horrible mistakes. We have evolved in our understanding of how this game works, and we are going to try to make the best of it this time. Uh, so we, we have a lot of stuff that we have to kind of discover for the first time here. So bear with us as we grab stuff, examine stuff, inspect stuff, and figure out what it all does. It's food. Let's eat it. Check out the water here. Inspect it. Yep, that's drinkable water. Now we can drink some. Great. We're growing neurons. Excellent. Something else that we figured out how to do in the meantime, we can pick up one of these horse tails. Oh, we can't actually switch. We haven't evolved to be able to switch to our other hand yet. So, no, I cannot do that yet. But there'll be more coming along the way. In the meantime, let's just inspect a lot of stuff. Come on. Don't know what that is. We're going to pick that up. I've been, I'm calling my clan every once in a while. That builds up our communication skills. I also want to meet my clan a little bit to get to know them. Um, this is an adult female. She's fertile and she is single, which means she, we can hook up with her. Let's group her. All right, we've bonded. We're not going to mate just yet. Uh, we really only need two babies at this point. We can get more babies later on, but some more food. Let's inspect it. Go ahead and eat it. Okay, my clan members will do some eating too. What else we got? We got different kinds of rocks over here that we should inspect. This is granite, I think. Now, one of the biggest things that I've discovered as I've gone along here is that I can actually do the, the combat stuff. It's not as impossible as I once thought it was. So I've actually killed a couple of things. I've killed a boar and I've killed a snake. So we're going to actually get out and do some combat this time instead of running away from everything. Now this is a new food that if we eat it, it's going to make us sick, but if you keep eating it, you'll build up a tolerance to it and it actually becomes a viable food source. In the meantime, you see we've got the sick stomach uh, indicator in the lower left hand corner. If I just drink water, watch what happens as I drink the water. It just kind of dilutes the, the sickness and makes it go down a bit faster. 
we can actually get rid of all of the sickness this way. Okay. That's probably about it for new discoveries here. We've got some grass. We can inspect that. Let's hang on to this grass since there's only a limited amount here around camp and we may need this later. So I'm going to bring it back over here and drop it. Now let's go back. Let's go out to the world and discover some new stuff. We're just going to have to, you know, identify and categorize our environment here for a minute. So bear with me. We don't know what any of this stuff is yet. But just identifying that it's out there and that we don't know what it is will help us build our intelligence a bit. Actually, that one's pretty close. Maybe we go right for that one. Uh, to I, we want to I actually identify it so that we know what it is we're finding out there in the world. And don't just aren't just saddled with a bunch of... Oh, there's one right there. Aren't just saddled with a bunch of uh, question marks. Hope I can make this. Yep, worked. All right, so grab it. I said grab it and inspect it. That's the K-Pak fiber. This is what helps us stop bleeding. We're going to get down to where it's flat and actually apply this to us as a little protection against bleeding if we do get into a scuffle. All right, apply. Great. Using it to, uh, that on ourselves gave us a big boost of neuronal neuronal energy. Um, there is something high up in the trees here. I don't know if you saw it when I saw it. Um, there is a big bird's nest up here. There it is, right there. I want to get over the, to that. If we can, without killing ourselves. Whoa, that was close. Good hands. I'm getting better at the jumping. I still fall on a pretty, pretty regular basis, but I am learning. I'm improving. All right, here we are up at this huge bird nest. I don't see him up above. We're going to try to run up there and grab a, an egg real quick. We can only grab one because we can only use one of our hands right now. Let's get out of here as fast as we can. All right, I'm going to keep going down. He can't get us here. I'm going to inspect it, and again, we're going to eat this, and it's going to make us sick. But if we keep eating them, they will eventually become a viable food source for us. And that tummy illness will go away pretty quickly. All right, let's do a little more classification out here. Identification. So now we know what the K-Pak are, so when we see them, we don't just get the, uh, the question mark. Is that a strange... That may be a stranger hominid that we can add to our clan. We should probably go check that out. Yeah, because our clan's down there. This guy's over there. Let's focus on him and memorize his location, or her. That's a him, actually, isn't it? There's more stuff for us to be identifying back at our home base. Uh, let's go see if we can add that other guy to our clan first. Who's this now? One of our elders is out in the world doing his own thing. I think that's him there. What are you doing out here? friend. You should be back at base. Well, he seems to be doing his own thing. Whatever. So I'm going 
as he doesn't die. Actually, to lose an elder wouldn't be terrible. We're up in bird territory here. I just want to keep moving. Hold on. I wanted to grab that as long as I was here. Inspect it. That is a food. It's not a food that we love, but it's a food that will fill our bellies. We're not actually hungry right now. I'm just going to drop the rest of this. And let's go find that guy. Yep, I see him over there. See? Getting a little bit better, right? All right, what's wrong with you, my friend? All right, he's right, he's got the I'm scared animation, which probably means there's a predator down on the ground here. And if we can chase this predator off, um, he might want to join our clan, this guy. So let's go down there, see if we can find a rock, and maybe intimidate whatever predator is down here. I don't hear any predators right now. There's a rock. Sticks, which we have not identified yet. We can use this as is, unaltered, as a weapon and a way to intimidate at least a predator. I'm not hearing any predators though down around this the base of this tree. So it's not clear what that hominids what he's afraid of. We're at the base of some coconut trees here and not finding any predator. I'm just going to kind of give up on that hominid for now. We'll come back to him later. But let's go up here and grab a coconut and identify that. Getting a little cold here. There's not much we can do with this cocoa right now until we um, evolve to be able to use both our hands. So I'm just going to drop this. I'll drop it at the base of one of these trees. Maybe we'll be able to find it again someday. No, you know what? I'll take it down by the water. So yeah, we're getting cold and it's not good for us, but it's not going to kill us. Just looking for a nice open place to drop this. Alright, maybe we'll be able to find that again someday, unless it rolls. No, it didn't roll. Okay. Um, looking for some cot trees, which we have not actually found and identified yet, but there's one up there on the cliff. Let's get up there and get warm. Use the drugs. I'm going to have to identify this since we haven't seen it yet. I'm getting very cold now, but that'll be fixed in a second as soon as I eat this. Alright, let's eat a little bit more. Alright, got some good protection against the cold now. That looks like predator, predator territory down there. Wish I still had my stick. Oh, I didn't mean to pick that grass. Drop it. Let's see if we can find another stick or a rock. Well, it's getting late now. Maybe we should head back. Some kind of scary, unidentified look from over here. I'm not sure what from. Could be a fishing spot. We'll check that out. But we're, let's go home and evolve and develop some new skills. And then tomorrow we'll be doing even more interesting stuff. My 
clan's right over here. Hello, clan. Nice to see you, too. One thing we did not identify here in our starting area was this fishing spot. Let's go over here and check it out. Inspect it. And then we'll go to sleep. Well, we'll evolve a little bit. And then we'll go to sleep. I know it can be hard to see this stuff at night with no lights. See if, what kind of evolution we can do. None? Oh, sorry. Just spark it. Alright, this is the one we really want. We should be able to use both hands now. That is going to open up all sorts of new realms of possibility for us. But that's it. Just the one thing. Alright, let's sleep. Gaining some neural energy as I dream. You see that we're we were tired. We're the yellow flashes, yellow green flashes down in the green circle down there, which represents our overall wellness. Um, when you see those green flashes, you're adding to whatever it was you were deficient. Alright. A little bit of food. A little bit of wawa. All right, now let's start using, now that we can use both our hands, let's start using them. And I'll show you a couple of really interesting ways to use them right off the bat. We're gonna pick up one of these horse tails, we're gonna switch it to our other hand, and we're gonna alter it. By, oop, messed that up. So, switch it, alter it, hold down the mouse button until the chime sounds. And we've discovered a new alteration, which is to strip that good stuff off the horsetail and create a little absorbent bandage of sorts. Now we can apply this to ourselves, and it will give us a little bit of protection against bleeding, and if we are bleeding, we can use it to stop the bleeding. Great. Alright, let's do another bit of alteration here. Let's grab some grass. Swap it to our other hand. Alter it. Same thing. I'm going to hold down the button until I hear the chime. And we've stripped the stuff. We've stripped the leaves off of that grass. So we just have the stem here. And now we can use the stem to poke around in things. Such as that beehive up there show you in a sec. Okay. We're going to inspect the beehive. Oh, I'm still inspecting the stick. i got to get a little closer to the hive. Now inspect it. Alright, discovered a new gathering spot. We can use this stem to dip in there, inspect what we got out of it. Hey, it's honey. This stuff's delicious. Go ahead and eat it up. And do this twice for the evolutionary achievement. Evolutionary feat. We dipped twice. We've accomplished an evolutionary feat. Well, one of evolutionary feat eating the, the honey. Another one from being an advanced problem solver by acting on the beehive with the right tool at least twice. And honey uh, can cure snake venom and serves as protection against snake venom. And I think upset stomach? No. Okay. Alright, let's drop this tool. Now, all tools, when you first make them, you want to make them twice for that evolutionary feat. 
right? So let's alter this another piece of grass here. All right. Now we've made that tool twice, which should give us an evolutionary feat. No? no apparently not. Okay. Uh, but let's do something else now. Let's grab a stick and go pick up a rock. There's some obsidian over here. Switch hands, grab, and now alter this stick. Great. So we've discovered a new alteration. We're going to get some kind of feet if we do it twice. You can do it twice with each different type of rock. I think there are three different types of rock. Granite, basalt, and um, obsidian. So if you do it twice with each type of rock, you're going to be getting big XP. In terms of combat, as I said earlier, you can use anything, any stick or rock can be used as a weapon. And it does not have to be altered at all. You can use just a regular dead branch as a weapon, if that's all you've got. Uh, I think they are more effective the more you refine them. But for now, I'm going to drop this one. We're going to do this again with a different type of rock and we're going to stop halfway through and I'll show you why in a sec. Let's go. Let's actually, let's let's go out into the world here. Unfortunately, it's raining. We're going to be getting cold once we get out of here. But there's more cot over here if we need it. We want to inspect this large rock here. We cannot lift it, but we can use something to pry it up. This is the other type of rock. This is basalt. This is actually the most effective type of rock for doing this, these kinds of alterations. So let's do a little alteration here. All right. So now that we've altered that just once, now if we go over here to these big rocks, we should get a prompt to lift it. Here we go, and we discovered a big batch of mushrooms under there. Now, if we eat one of those mushrooms, we are going to get sick, but again, if you continue eating them, you'll build up a tolerance for them. There's going to be more under that rock and more under that rock. I'm not going to flip those rocks right now because if I eat one of these, I think the rest of my clan is going to come out and eat it too, and I don't want them to eat it all up. I want them to. I want there to still be some uh, some mushrooms here if we need them. So it made us sick, but you know if we continue eating them, we'll build up a tolerance to them. Oops, I didn't mean to pick that last one up. We'll drop it right here. Pick up my rock and stone again. I mean my rock and stick. We just need to do a little more identification and classification here. Oh, not much for us to identify over here. K-pop below us, it's kind of weird. We also need to be using all of our senses. So we're gonna do some classification uh, using our sense of smell in just a minute, but I think we'll go back to our starting area to do that. These thorn 
branches, these brambles, you can't really identify yet. Uh, down the road, you'll be able to do something with them. Uh, but you have to develop some some evolutionary skills before you can do anything with these. Yeah, my tummy is still upset. Let's go back and drink some water and try to get rid of some of this stomach upset. Drop. Switch and drop. Water. Now, we've learned how to utilize coconuts, right? So let's go climb one of these. I mean, we've used how to do both, use up both of our hands, which means that we can now alter coconuts. So let's go up here. Instead of grabbing them, though, what I want to do is shake the tree. And now they're all down on the ground. Pick one up. We've already inspected it, so we know what it is. Switch it to the other hand, pick up a rock, and alter it. that hitting a cocoa with a granite rock can change it. Meaning, we can bust it open and drink what's inside. Coconut water is very good for you. Coconut milk, I should say. It's going to give us protection against snake venom and protection against an upset stomach from eating um, green or rotten fruit. One last thing to do back here at base. We want to get up this cliff. We can use these vines right here. Actually, let me let me drop the rock I'm holding here because I'm gonna have to drop it up at the top anyway. All right, here's something special. So these special rocks, the gemstones, basically, you're going to find around out in the world, and um, they are indestructible rocks is really their only benefit, as far as I can tell. Uh, other rocks, if you miss your... your um, if you're trying to ch alter something and you miss that chime cue you can shatter the rock these will never shatter so let's just leave that special rock here and bring it with us when we go out to the world well, if we decide to, to move around in the world uh, i think we've identified almost everything that's here back here at base almost great we matured a neuron we can evolve again We also got to get get busy mate. That there's that stranger is still out there. I I don't know. A lot of people have been confused about how to deal with that frightened looking hominid. Other ones you're going to encounter out in the world um, may be retching, like holding their stomach and throwing up into their hand. Uh, those guys would need some of those mushrooms to soothe their stomach. 
and make them friendly, bring them back to the clan. Who's that? There are ones that are cradling an arm, like they've broken a limb. You can bring them some horsetails or some cot. And to heal their wounds and they'll join your clan. Something unknown over here. Oh, it's just one of the brambles. It's getting late. We've we've not really done much this today, but because we were doing all that alteration. You can alter rocks too. Um, say I take an obsidian and a granite. Get it to highlight the granite. There we go. And alter. Actually, I think I want to switch hands. I want the obsidian in my right hand. Yeah, it, it is. This is very, very tricky at first. Very sensitive um, until you gain some skills with the with the shaping of the rocks. Let's try it one more time. So we have made a grinder. I don't really know exactly what you do with the grinder yet, but it's it's an altered rock and it's a tool. I think eventually you can make a sharpened rock. It's more knife-like. But a grinder is a good first step. Drop, switch, and switch, and drop. All right, great. Now, I would like to get to know some of my people a little bit better. Is this my wife? Yes. We are coupled, but we have no babies yet. We're going to make, make some babies. But I also want to work my communication skills by just slightly grooming some of our other members. Not to the point that we form a couple. but just to get to know each other a little bit better. Get cold. All right, it is cold. We're cold and wet. Let's get back inside and get busy making bebes. Drop the children. I should be able to call my mate. Why can I not call my mate? I'm going to evolve for now until we figure out why I can't evolve my mate. Or call my mate. We have developed the ability to change hands while moving. We don't have to stop to switch hands anymore. We have evolved the ability to drop an item from our hands while moving. We no longer have to stop to drop items. We have evolved our intelligence a bit by classifying stuff. The one thing we have not evolved yet is our communication. We really got to do some more communicating with our clan to get that going. Uh, one way to communicate with the clan would be to call my mate over. Not sure why this isn't working. We should be able to mate here. Right? I'm an adult male. Oh, I'm partnered with Lou. Lou has babies already? Wait a minute. Um, I may, be, I may have accidentally partnered with someone that I didn't want to partner with. I'm going to do this again. Uh, I'm going to groom this female. Yeah, I may have partnered with a male or an elder female. Right, 
We formed a couple, now we should be able to make babies. Yes, call me. Alright, and that matured our communication neuron. Great. Alright, let's just let her be pregnant for a while. We can make her give birth right now if we want to, but uh, she's very... Pregnant females are very fearsome and tough. So let's just let her be pregnant. We don't really need the other babies right now. We already have two to form, to be, you know, XP boosts as we carry them around. All right, now about the combat, one of the important things about the combat is that the more you do it, the better at it you get. And I don't just mean as a, you know, as a gamer, but um, I want to eat something weird to give me an upset stomach and build my tolerance. I'm going to go over here and grab some mushrooms. Nope, there are no fully grown mushrooms left. I think when I when I ate the ones, the one out, uh, out there, I think my clan came and ate all the ones that were on that log. And gave them all upset stomachs. Oh, I gave myself an upset stomach. By eating something that was green or rotten. And I don't think water dilutes this, does it? No, oh, it does. Alright, water can dilute that green or rotten fruit upset stomach too. That's gone. Um, where's our actual fully sharpened pointy stick? Here we go. We're going to take this over to the fishing hole. And poke. Oh, we got an actual fish. Nice. I've only ever gotten crayfish before, crawfish. And now to remove the fish from here, we're going to alter the stick. And it takes the fish off, now we can eat the fish. This is going to make us, again, sick, but again, we're building up tolerance to it. The more of it we eat, the more diverse our our options for getting food are going to be. So you, you start out... Uh, oh yeah, that's another thing I've discovered is how to throw stuff. So the drop button is for me is C, but if you hold down the drop button, he'll wind up and throw. Oh, I hope I didn't just lose that stick. Let's get some more water to soothe our tummies. So we have to get out into the world and actually fight some stuff if we're ever going to become good hunters. So let's pick up our hitchhikers. For, actually, for the combat stuff, I prefer to leave the hitchhikers at home, but we're still so early in the game that... I feel like we really have to get the most of our, our neural advancement here. So they're coming with. Oh no, oh no, 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 no. Wow. That could have killed us. All right, let's look to get into some trouble. I'd like to take on a snake at first. I think snakes are probably the easiest, 
Two defeat. Yeah, I hear one. There he is. I dodged. See? I'm not terrible at this, guys. I actually dodged. Uh, I dropped my stick. But again, that is something that you can get better at as you go along. Uh, is not dropping your stick when you dodge. Stick should still be around here somewhere. Hmm. Well, we may have lost that stick. But we did a good dodge. Let's see if we can find him again and dodge again. Later on, you can counterattack, and then, oh, we're getting cold. Well, we got some cot right here. Let me see if I can find a rock or something for a little bit of protection. Grass. Right, we matured a neuron, an intelligence neuron. Fishing spot. Grass. More grass. Another fishing spot. Oh, that's my stick. I got it. It was just buried in the grass pretty well. Hold and hold. Listen for the chime. Uh, I released a little late that time. Shoot. Well, now we're going to have to get rid of this snake bite venom. I mean, we, we could take the snake on again immediately, but it's going to risk really lowering our dopamine, especially if we don't win. Where's the snake? Where's the snake? I wanted to try it one more time. off. Alright, we're going to have to get rid of some of this venom. I think the easiest way to do that down here without going back up to the, the settlement is to get a coconut and a rock and break it open. Drop my stick right here at the base of this coconut tree. Do it somewhere in the open. Um... I think I hear a boar out there, too. I'm just looking for a rock. There's a rock. Yep, there's a boar out there. Oops. My finger slipped. Yeah, the boar's kind of coming after us now. But he probably won't cross the water, so when, when we get this uh, coconut, we'll just go to the other side of the water. And alter my coconut. Nope, nope, I got him in the wrong hands. And then drink it. And that lowered the snake venom way down. If we did one more, it would probably get rid of the snake venom entirely. Let's do one more. I think by the time we get this actually done, the snake venom would probably be gone on its own. Let's keep doing this to get better at it. Let us retrieve our stick. I 
and see if we can get into some more trouble. I would prefer to only take on one of these guys at a time. There's also an, uh, an, an evolutionary feat for luring one predator into another predator. Let's see if we can intimidate him. That's a feat as well. All right, good. We, we actually successfully intimidated that snake, which is something that we want to get better at doing too, so. It's getting dark. Oh, looks like we've lured the the snake into the boar. Yeah, we they didn't actually actually attack each other, which would be another evolutionary feat. But it, we've at least identified those guys now. Um, another thing that we should probably do while we're here is bring up our sense of smell and figure out what those predators smell like. They're both probably still right around here. Horse tails. Water. Horse tails. This is, you know, this is building our XP, so we gotta do this stuff. Especially if we want our senses to develop. Now let's see if we can find those predators. Oh, that's the that's the horse tail. You know, having intimidated the mamba, it might be well. There's the boar. Now the boar is going to be really hard to defeat at this stage of our personal evolution. But let's give it a shot. Come here, boar. Well, first let's try intimidating him. Nope, okay. And dodge. I dodged! I dodged, we dropped our stick, but I dodged. We're probably building big time. Yep. All right, we're, we're maturing the, our fighting neurons a lot do, doing this. So good on us. Let's try and intimidate him again. Ah, I was late. He got me. He broke my leg. That's fine, though. There's plenty of stuff for us to to fix that with right around here. And uh, sun's going down. We'll start heading back now. But I think we, we've done well today. We um, really built up some of our... What am I doing? Switch hands. Switch hands. Grab, eat. Uh, we've really built up some of our combat skills today. And that's something that I should have been doing right from the start uh, when I first started playing. But I was just so, I was still getting accustomed to the controls, not really knowing how things worked. All right, let's head back. Bringing our stick with us. Me and Lucky Stick. See? I'm making some of these jumps and stuff. I'm better. I'm evolving. Hello. Maybe tomorrow we'll bring our clan out with us. Give them a chance to see what's out in the world. Switch hands. Drop. Get some water. Go to sleep. Maybe we'll let our our mate make the babies now. 
Drop child, drop child, call me. And have your baby. I'm gonna skip this. Cinematic, we've seen it. All right, we've got one new baby. Now we're gonna mate again and make another baby. But we don't have to give birth right away. Let's keep her pregnant for a while. All right, and now let's just go to sleep. Wait, uh, we can evolve. Let's evolve. Probably get some combat skills going here. Yep. Here's our combat skill. Acute stress response. Reactions for escapes and counterattacks are faster, meaning we have more time to do what we need to do. Hold space to prime. Move to choose a direction. Release space at the right time when you hear that chime to dodge or counterattack. And we've actually built up a second one here. Grasp control. Chances of dropping an item following a dodge are minimized. Remember I mentioned that earlier. What else we got? Contextual orthostasis. We'll be able to identify stuff faster. Come on. Here's our communication. Finally, got some communication going. Intelligence. The range for detection of all non-edible resources is increased. And that's all the evolution we can do tonight. So, sleep. This guy wasn't really very tired, it doesn't seem. So we'll make an early start of it. We'll get up bright and early as soon as the sun's up. Oh yeah, that reminds me, something we haven't done yet. Let me get the babies. Uh, we have not actually learned our location here. Let's do that. Intelligence and discover. Get a nice little vista. You can skip this too if you get tired of it, but I, I like it. So what is this, day three, I think? So we'll do one more day. Call it a fresh start. All right, this meteor stuff, we've seen this before, but yeah, so meteor flies through the sky, we go chasing after it. And we're going to be pretty close to it right here, so we might as well actually go try to check it out. The problem is we don't have, we don't have a, a tool with us, a, a weapon. Do we go back to base and grab a weapon? Do we just try to get there? We can make another weapon along the way. How far are we from base? Um, since we need to be making weapons to get better at doing it anyway, why don't we just make ourselves a new weapon? And the smoke was out that way, so let's go that way. Hoo, hoo, hoo. That was close. Uh, hey, there's Kapok up here. Let's see if we can grab that Kapok and give ourselves a little protection before <gasps> before we go. Oh, oh no, oh, boy. Well, that plan didn't work. Got to go all the way back up there for the Kapok. I, I was really only interested in it because it was right there. I don't really want to go. Have to go hunting for it, but. We will. 
now, now that I've said it's a good idea, I think it is a good idea. Get down. Get down. There's some. Grab. So that the hominid that we want to add to our clan is still out there. I can hear him. Yeah, I hear you, buddy. I'm going to see if I can come help you in just a minute. This may not be the same one. This is a female, so it's not the same one. But let's see what she needs. That's a long jump. She... looks thirsty, I think. Or maybe hungry. Let's get a little bit closer. Thirsty. She's thirsty, which means she needs a coconut. So let's go get her a coconut. Gotta get down to the ground without killing ourselves. There's a coconut tree right there. snake was again. I apply this kapok to myself. Okay. Get a coconut. Oh, that snake's right underneath us. Let's see if we can intimidate him. chased him away. Excellent. Ah, let's get ourselves a rock. Well, we sort of chased him away. He's still kind of interested. Just need a rock to bust this open. There were some up here. Oh, that's where the boar is, too. Switch hands, grab, alter. Okay. Drop that rock. Well, switch hands, okay. And then she, let's try to get right underneath the tree that she's in, even though there are dangerous baddies down here. It's that tree there. Ow. Well, I didn't have a chance to dodge because I was in the middle of that jump. Now we have a problem. But let's take care of her first and then worry about our own poison. Jeez, wait. Oh, we dro when we got attacked, we dropped what we were holding. Hopefully it's still down there. Yeah, yeah, bring it. Yeah, there it is. Well, oh, that's the rock anyway. Where's the... Switch and grab and intimidate. Not really. I would fight him if I had a, a real weapon on me. 
I mean, I have the rock, but that's not super effective. Especially since we are already hit with the venom. Okay, give you my... Yeah. Sorry for the, the wonky image here. But we've made a new friend and gotten a new clan member. And she's going to follow me for a while until we, we're going to have to bring her back to base. So uh, what we need to do now is, is find ourselves some another coconut. To get rid of this venom. He's going to be hanging around right underneath the freaking coconut tree of course yeah he's right down there don't think he'll cross the water oops gotta switch hands switch hands and drink That lowers the snake venom quite a bit, but it's not completely gone yet. Uh, by the time we get up there, get another coconut, bust it open, and drink it, all this venom's going to be gone anyway. So I'm just going to wait it out. But let me let me drop my rock here because I need something to drink. Oh, well, I missed it that time. I was a little slow. And now our venom's completely all the way back up to the top. Alright, well, we sort of scared it away. I, I, now I have to get some, um, some coconut juice because we're re-venomed. Well, that only lowered it about halfway. We should probably do another one if we can. Although I think that this coconut tree is out of coconuts. Let's see if we can find another. There's another coconut tree. You're probably like, how can you see anything? It's all wiggly and wavy. Maybe I shake this tree. Let's get them all down on the ground. To keep climbing up here. It will be a little bit harder to find down here. Oops. Drop. Oops. No, I dropped the wrong thing. Ah! Having trouble differentiating what I'm grabbing here. I need the coconut, and I need my rock. Where's my rock? There. It's there on the ground. I can't tell if I'm looking at it or not. No. There we go. Sounds like our companion's a little sleepy. Switch drink. Oh, nope. Drink. Okay. Well, let's see. It's, what, three in the afternoon? I think we can stay out and do a little bit more out here. We've got a rock that's some form of protection. And maybe we'll try to make a stick. I got it. 
I want to keep encountering these guys and at least trying to dodge. Hopefully getting better at it. I think the snake's down there. Where is he? Oh, there he is. Ow! Bit my friend. I wanted you to bite me. Bite me. Come back. And <sighs> too slow. Too slow, but I, I think I, I must have. Oh no, I must have. I dodged a little bit. Uh, he's biting my friend again. I don't. I don't think that's a problem. He bite my friend. Yeah, I, I think we just we didn't have the right weapon there. I mean, a rock's not really going to do it. I should have waited till I had a stick to do it. Let's get out of here, friend. New friend. Let's go back home. You coming, new friend? Now, I had a bunch of broken bone protection already built up based on eating all that cot, so we did not break a bone there. Unbelievably. Um, just looking for a way to get up here. Alright, I think we, we did stimulate some neuronal growth there from our combat attempts even though we're not good at it yet and we didn't have the right tools uh, did we leave base with a pointy stick I think we did which means we no longer have a pointy stick which means we should make another one well we've we've st oh no we left it here we left one here. oh right because there was the meteor we were going out for the meteor which I've never actually retrieved in the I don't know couple of dozen hours I've got in the game so far. Hold on, let's end the expedition here so our friend, our new friend stays back here at base. And maybe we'll... Uh, it's gonna be getting dark soon. End expedition. Welcome, our new friend. Come give me a hug. Welcome to the clan, cutie. You're my next mate. Anything to do out this way before we go to sleep? There's still another hour or so of daylight-ish. Can I classify some stuff? Yes. I thought we'd already identified all this stuff. Uh, I, yeah. So that that probably is a an intelligence evolution thing. The ability to remember this stuff overnight. I know, because I know in some of my play, some of this stuff does stay overnight, but I, I haven't really figured out what it is that determines what stays and what goes. It must have to do with our evolutionary state, and we must just not have evolved our memory enough to... There you go. Just matured a neuron. I'm just memorizing that to exercise my memorization skills. See, now that's stuff that we already identified that is retaining its identification. So maybe we just had not identified any of that other stuff yet. All right, sun's going down. We did a lot today. Why don't we call it a day here? And we'll call it an episode. A memorized item has been forgotten. Okay, we just we moved too far out of range. But we're going to call it an episode here, a fresh start. 
uh, incorporating a lot of the, the the stuff that I've learned in the past few days playing and and with a lot the help of a lot of people on the Steam forums, especially uh, Lucky N13 has spent a lot of time with this game and has learned a lot. And God bless for sharing all that information with his clanmates on the Steam forum. All right, sleep time. Thanks for watching, everybody. Leave a like and subscribe if you enjoy Ancestors, this fresh start, and there'll be more coming in the near future. Stay safe, survivors.